Traffic Source Postback URL First, check your traffic source's documentation to verify it supports any third-party conversion tracking methods. If your traffic source supports server-to-server -server postback URL, go to the Traffic Sources tab and edit your previously created traffic source, or create a new traffic source template manually. Before configuring the postback URL, go to the Advanced Parameters section to fill in the necessary parameters. Postback URLs include unique parameters defined by the source to send specific data variables when requested. The most common data variable sent within any postback request is a click ID. It is a random alphanumeric string generated by the source to uniquely identify users' visits or clicks. The ID parameter and token will vary depending on the source. That's why you need to check your traffic source documentation to get the right data. Map the traffic source click ID into the external ID field. With this, all click IDs sent by a source will then be recorded as external IDs in volume. Next, copy the postback URL provided by your traffic source and place the URL in the corresponding field in volume. Append the external ID token to the parameter intended for passing back the traffic source click ID data. Once volume records a conversion, it will fire the post back with a unique click ID. If your source requires you to pass more parameters in the post back URL, you can use all the available URL tokens listed below. For example, if your source requires you to pass the revenue, check what parameter is used for it. Then append the parameter and the payout token to the post back URL. If your traffic source does not support the post back URL conversion tracking, Learn how to set pixel redirect URLs in volume by watching our next video. Thank you for watching.